Okay, so this last video is definitely optional, but there's a couple of other ways that we can um, play these virtual instruments. So mostly we've been focusing on clicking on, clicking on the fingerboard to play the notes. And I'm gonna go through all the different instruments here, but they, the other ways pretty much are the same for all the instruments. So down here, you might've noticed this, we can click on the letter names and get them that way. Here's D, here's E, here's F. Now G flat will also is the same as F sharp. There's a sharp sign down here that will help you remember that. But if you look up on the screen, F sharp, G flat. Here's G, okay, A, B. So what happens if if I want to keep going higher than B, it just keeps going back down there. So here we've got um, the word low, and then down here we've got four slash five H slash L. Um, key, it doesn't really mean key. What it means is octave here. If I press five on my computer keyboard here, five, I get high. If I press four, I get low, high. So this is me pressing my four and five keys. So if I started low, C, D, E, F, G, A, B. Now I want to switch to high and continue up with C, D, E. Now that will work the same way on the viola, exactly the same thing here. On the cello, again, you have exactly the same thing down here with the low, high, keys four and five, and clicking on the letters. On the bass, the same thing. I got high, middle, low. And the letters there, four, five, and six. We'll switch it from high, medium, and low. I'm sure you can figure that out. So that's one other way. We've got clicking on the fingerboard. We've got clicking on the letters. And there's a third option down here, keyboard shortcuts. So these are the letters on my computer keyboard. If I use these letters, they will play those notes. So if I want to play C, I'm going to press A. If I press W, I'll get D flat or C sharp. If I press S, and that works again the same way on all the others as viola. On cello, it worked the same way. Now, if you look carefully at these, what you'll find is the natural notes, C, D, E, F, G, A, B. The natural pitches, the keyboard letters, A, S, D, F, G, and H. The natural there, those notes are all the middle row of keys on your keyboard. Those are like the white notes on the piano. Your sharps and flats with the W, E, T, Y, and U. You will find You'll find those are in the top row of the letters on your keyboard and are arranged in group of two and three, just like the black notes on a piano. Um, so that's what's happening there. You can also use the four and five to change the octave high and low with that. So you could play a tune. <laughs> That's me using D, S, and A on the keyboard. And now if I change the octave with the number five. So two other ways to play your virtual online instrument. Give it a try.
see how you get on.